What's up everybody, MC Murr here and welcome back to the show and it's time once again for another fantabulous product review and this time we're taking a look at the Arcade 1UP HDMI consoles with the wireless controllers. You know, we know that you can add ROMs to these and that's always attractive. That's about all I know about it so far. I really want to go through the motions with it. I want to go through the process and see how easy that is to do on this versus what we've done in the past on the at games units. Uh, I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time with an unboxing on this. Obviously, I'm going to have to get it unboxed. I'm going to show you a little bit of what that looks like here. Uh, the controller is the most curious thing about this. You know, they started out with it and it was an exact Sega Saturn replica. And then that changed to what, well, whatever this boomerang looking thing is. Uh, I have to imagine there was a cease and desist order in there somewhere, because I mean, why the change? That was just weird, man. I mean, maybe that was a concept and they they switched to that, maybe that didn't happen, I don't know. But just kind of weird, kind of a kind of a weird shift there, you know, before it actually hit the shelves. These things retail for about 40 bucks, so, Mm, yeah, see, because a lot of people are buying the uh, Legends flashbacks that we've looked at for much cheaper than that on sale now since those have been out a while, and obviously we've added tons of ROMs to those. Where this gets interesting, I guess, is just the ability to add the games and maybe see them a little bit better organized on a uh, you know on a menu screen if it does that better there may be some reasons to pick this up now there's different ones of these we went with the pac-man collection because if these are actual arcade versions of these games and if this won't run mame i mean this probably would be the one to get i mean there's a mega man one and a disney one i guess i didn't really get a look at the disney one well, those games are going to get added. You know, you're going to have those anyway. So I'm hoping that what we have on this factory is something that we may not have been able to add later. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, this is the one that was most attractive to me. We're going to get the games on here. We're going we're gonna to see what all that entails. And then we're going to plug it up and take a look. All right, so we're in here. And at a glance, the menu looks pretty good. I... I've heard talk about the uh, the controller, and first off, the sticker and not a screened on logo, yeah, that is pretty chintzy and cheap. The controller does feel cheap. The D-pad doesn't feel too much different than the ones on the blast units that we looked at, but boy, it's wobbly. I'm gonna tell you, it feels like it could go any direction at any given second. And this thing is so wide that it just feels weird. It feels like my hands are in different area codes here, but. I don't know. I don't want to just get... Uh, this doesn't need to turn into a complainy fest. If this thing will play some games, then great. Because, you know, I, I'm also under the impression you can use other controllers too. So, let's just see what it can do, okay? So, this isn't much different than what we did with the At Games flashback units. Uh, except that it's a micro SD. But same basic idea. Except, you know, there's no update though. And, you know, the last Legends flashback, to be fair, did not need an update. And that was great. Although they did release some updates for different reasons. But none of which were actually necessary, in my opinion. Uh, this doesn't need one, from what I understand. We just... Uh, you just rock. You put in the SD card. You put in a folder labeled game and then drop your roms right in it it's recognizing it we'll see how it plays in a minute but uh yeah for those of you not familiar with how we did that on those other consoles i'll put a link right here to those videos that you know where you know big john at gen x grown up comes in and really shows you all the nitty gritty on you know how to put the roms in there on it but there's really nothing to it when there's no update required that really saves a step we're just ready to rock here so local storage or we go to micro sd card all right, so at first when we tried this, it didn't work. And there was a good reason for that. You gotta pay attention to your file types. Now, when we initially did the Super Nintendo games on the At Games Flashback console, we had a .fig extension on there. It's got to be .sfc or it won't recognize the uh, any of the files. I just got a blank blue screen. Still the same on the others that we had. Uh, .nes for NES, .bin for Genesis, .a26 for uh, Atari 2600. And those are the ROM sets I have right now. This will do some Game Boy stuff, and I'd even heard Sega CD. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll get into some other builds for this thing as we go, but initially I wanted to get this going, so that's an important thing to note. 
different from the sets that we put on here on the uh, flashbacks you've got to change that super nintendo extension to a dot sfc instead of the fig so let's see if these are actually going to work i hope they will and there you have it i just put some games on here to start with that we know and love and now that we know what we're working with I'll work on getting all the ROMs on here. And again, this would be fun to look at in a, in a future live stream, but let's play. This controller leaves a lot to be desired. There's a lot of depression needed on these buttons to get them to respond. Oh, and they're just not doing it. This doesn't feel right. But again, we're not going to weigh in that hard on this. If we can use other controllers on this, then obviously that's what we'll do. The thing that gets called into question is for $40, could we have gotten something a little nicer? So, I don't know. But, you know, cool. As long as we're playing ROMs on this thing, we've got something cool going. We've got reason to own this thing. Right, so you hold select for five seconds that resets the game puts us back at the menu just checking to make sure that each of these roms we put on here actually does work if you watch the show you hear me say this a lot it's one of the best games on the dadgum console arcus odyssey can't get enough of this game so yeah i mean this this looks good I'm not really noticing any input lag on the controller. It's just not the best feeling controller I've ever felt. So for those of you wanting feedback on that, there it is. But yeah, so far we're, uh, we're off to the races here on putting games on the console and we got a Genesis game working. So another question I have is how much is too much now with the at games flashbacks, you could not have bigger than a 16 gigabyte SD card. It wasn't a micro SD, it was a regular SD. Uh, I'm running a 64 gigabyte micro on this right now because that happened to be what I had handy and blank to put ROMs on and it doesn't seem to be a problem. So I, there, there probably isn't a limit on the gig size, but is there a limit on how many files you can put on and this thing still talk to you? That was an issue we saw with the Legends flashback when, when we looked at it. We had to, uh, I actually had to split the games between two SD cards, which I mean, that's a minor hassle. Just pop it in and out like a cartridge. But uh, yeah, right at about the 7,500 mark, it stopped talking to us. And we had about 10,000 ROMs total to put on there. So something to think about. We'll see how, uh, we'll see how it goes with this thing. We're going to continue playing with it. Dark Chambers, a great late Atari game. If you haven't played Dark Chambers, it's a really cool one. It's kind of like a poor man's gauntlet. And then when you get onto the 7800 version, it's not. I mean, it's still that, but it's uh, it's actually, it'll stand right up next to gauntlet. It's, it's good. The T is a knife. Look at him. He looks like Graham from King's Quest so great all right so we got an atari game working we're off to the races we got it going a little bit of something to drink here comes a ghost you know he don't play a wizard he's really a ghost now he's a skeleton we don't know what he is he's a shapeshifter fantastic all right so uh like we got primal rage here that's a great one from the past let's see if this one's gonna work we're in business primal rage is so great kicking butt dinosaurs and blood how much cooler can it get so yeah we've got uh we've got roms from all four of the categories i had uh ROM sets for working here so that is good I do want to get some Game Boy action going here need to get a hold of some other ROM sets that we can put on here and again we need to really test the capacity and make sure how much this thing can hold total now let's check out some of the actual gameplay here of the games that were included again uh, I don't know that this is gonna run you know arcade ROMs or anything so that's why this 
model here makes sense and why the others might not. You probably have some games here you wouldn't otherwise be able to add. Let's uh, see what we got. I mean, this looks to be arcade Pac-Man, but goodness knows there's so many different units out there that gave us the NES versions of popular arcade games that, you know, really aren't preferable to most. I mean, some of them, like Pac-Man's a good example of one. I love NES Pac-Man. I played a lot of it growing up, but it's not the one that everybody wants, obviously. Um, this doesn't feel bad. I mean, the, the D-pad isn't the best thing ever, but it doesn't feel awful. It doesn't feel much different than the flashback blast units that we saw from at games. It feels about the same. Maybe a little more wobbly. It's, uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's, it's okay. Galaga 88 is kind of a wild card to throw on here. We'll definitely take it. Cool. Yeah, I like this. All right, so, you know, we're trying to justify a $40 price tag on this thing. And, you know, I've already got units with tons of ROMs on it. So you can argue, no, you don't need this. Uh, but if, you, if you're going to be, if you need something to do this job, then this is a pretty cool little thing to collect for 40 bucks. And, uh, you know, we, we just got to play around with it a little more and make sure that it can do everything that the Legends flashback did for us and see how much beyond that it can do when we really want to get down to justifying the price because you know while i say that some of those have really come down in price they're getting really hard to find because the cat's pretty much out of the bag is on you know being able to do what you can do with those things the two uh the 2019 model is completely sold out i can't find those anywhere so something to think about here's another chance to get a unit that will do the same thing so talking about use of other controllers, because that's something important, I've got a uh, Xbox One Power A Mini wired controller hooked up to this thing, and uh, yeah, it, it's working. We'll see how good, but we got the D-pad going here. Let's take a look at some Super Xevious. Yeah, this, uh, this feels fine. So if we do have the option of other controllers, that makes the uh, quality of the controller packed in not that much of an issue. I mean, were it nicer, I would feel better about it because, I mean, this is a $40 set at the end of the day. But, yeah, I mean, this is okay. And then I would have to see if there were other opportunities to use wireless options like the 8-bit do, 8-bit do, whatever you call them. I've got some of those laying around, but at least we do know that there's other controller compatibility for sure. And you know, using wire is not a big deal, at least not from where I'm sitting or where I'm set up and probably for a lot of you. And we may be able to rule out any lag that may exist that I may not be seeing or detecting or experiencing just knowing that we are using a wired connection. So obviously there are other games on here that we have not seen. We're not going to look at them all right now, though. We'll save some of this for a uh, for a live stream tour that we can kind of do together in community, in group, and kind of bounce some thoughts and ideas off each other. You know I love to do that, and if that's something you want to see, again, leave me something in the comment section below. I'd like to schedule that for an upcoming TNL live stream date. That would be a lot of fun, because obviously there's going to be a lot more on this thing when next you see it. I'm going to finish out the ROM builds, put as much on here as we can. Again, we got to find out what the limits are on some of that. And I want to test some other controllers too. So still some stuff to learn about this, but I think we know enough about this based on what we've just seen here in this review to where anybody can decide if this is worth the uh, price of admission or not. So there you have it, the Pac-Man Collection Arcade 1-Up HDMI console. You know, I don't know, it, it, kind of neat, I guess, uh, 40 bucks. Some different things to weigh in on there, and then some other ones out there to collect if you want to collect them. I don't know if we're going to collect them. We collect way too much stuff, but there are other ones out there, and they may launch more than what they currently have. Again, you just have to ask if there's a reason to own those, if they're only going to contain games that you've already put on the first one that you got, 
you know, via the micro SD or whatever. So I don't know. A lot to think about there. Hey, would you like to see more action from this thing on an upcoming live stream? Let me know in the comments what you think about that idea and what you think about what you saw here today in general. Again, 40 bucks. Would you be in on one of these? Do you like what you see here? Have you already modded other plug and play units and you just don't feel like you even have a need for this? Does this do enough? extra or you know above and beyond what we've seen in other units reviews that it you know even warrants the the price tag it's a lot to think about again there's just so many units and devices and doohickeys coming out that do these things and you know eventually you only need so many of these things i don't know but again let me know what you think i hope that you like this video hope you're going to drop a like on this video most importantly if you have not already done so i hope that you're going to subscribe to the mc mer show and be a part of our nation because we're rising up all the fantastic things that we do right here on the show you need to be a part of it. make sure that you smack that notification bell so you're always the first to know when new content is live content like this review right here and you know there's all all kinds of stuff like this so much more content coming your way this year and beyond nc mer signing off for this fantabulous product review and i'll see each and every one of you again